Hey guys, it's Attilio with Theater Magic. I'm inside the drawing room here at the Great Magic Hall in Orlando, Florida. I've got an excellent trick that uses 16 cards. You can take these from any deck. You can use it in the middle of a routine, a borrowed deck. It doesn't matter. All you need is 16 cards and you have a very awesome piece of magic. So let's get into it. Basically, the cards can be shuffled, cut the cards, Give the cards a cut as many times as you like. And then you have the spectator give the cards a cut. And where they cut to, you have them look at this card and remember it. And you also invite a second spectator to look at a card and remember it. So here we have a four and a three. It doesn't matter. Wherever they cut to, those are the cards that they take a look at. You take the cards back. You have them cut the cards back so that the cards are buried into the pack. You have the cards returned. They're cut back into the pack, and, and the cards can be shuffled. They can be cut. It doesn't matter. Now it's when it gets crazy. We're going to add a little chaos to the routine. Check this out. We can turn some cards face up, cut the cards, turn cards face up, cut the cards. We can even flip the cards face down, flip cards over, cut the cards, flip them, cut them as many times until the audience says they're content. Once they're content, then at that point, you simply deal the cards onto the table. And you can see that some cards are face up and some cards are face down, but here's where it gets interesting. You tell them that you're gonna fold the cards in this way, this way, this way, or that way, but they make the choice. And it really doesn't matter which one they decide. Once they decide, you flip the cards in that direction. You ask them again which way you would like them. It doesn't really matter. And you continue to ask them and they continue to make all the choices until you're left with all the cards in one stack. Once you get them into one stack, a little magic wave and instantly you'll notice as I spread the cards that one black card among the red cards, only one, and this is that three of spades that they look at. So that's the one chosen card. And on the other side are all black cards except this one red card, the four of diamonds. The two chosen cards.